everybody, welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 31, and I think this is going to be the absolute most massive episode we have ever done. We have so many things to do here today, and we got a lot of Elite Series 70 featured. I think every figure in Elite Series 70, besides Vince McMahon, because I really didn't know what I could do with that figure. I don't really have any fleshed out ideas on what to do with it, but um, the rest of them, we are going to do some surgery. We got Gargano, we got Balor, we got Ziggler, we got E. C3, we got Rollins, we got everyone featured here besides McMahon, and I'm very excited, guys. You can see we got plenty of paint, we got acetone, we have so many different things. Like, we have a lot of ish to get to, and I'm honestly kind of afraid of how long this video is going to be, but you know what? It'll be worth it when it's all said and done, when we got the fix-ups completed, when we're finally done with everything. I think you guys will enjoy this episode. It's going to be very long, but again, I think it will be worth it, and we're, we're going to get all of it done. So, you guys know how we do. First off, we're going to start off by explaining everything that we're going to do here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. Then we will carry out all the processes, and finally, we will show you guys what the final result is as we take you through the processes. So, with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get started with our first thing. So I guess we can start off with the most simple thing, guys. We're going to start off with Seth freaking Rollins, one of my favorite talents. We got Seth Rollins right here, and you guys know that uh, in my ranking system, I had this pretty near the bottom. If you guys met, a lot of you guys didn't check out the Vince McMahon and Seth Rollins review, you definitely need to go check that out because I ranked all of Elite Series 70, and I gave you my personal thoughts and opinions on every figure ranked from worst to best, so definitely go check that out. But for this figure, all we're literally going to do is acetone the shield logo off because I I think I'm going to use this vest for a Seth Rollins figure down the line or maybe like uh, in the pick fed or something and I really like this vest mold but I don't like the shield logo. Another reason being, I mean he didn't even have the shield logo on there so why not just go ahead and remove it, use it for a different project, use it for a different figure or another reason to use it. So we'll, we're going to acetone this logo off, very simple stuff, that's why we have the acetone here. We're going to get some Q-tip, just wipe that off and that will be it for Seth Rollins. Very, very simple stuff. I guess we can move on to EC3 guys and for EC3 this one one is kind of tricky and I don't know how it's going to turn out. You guys can see here we have EC3 and Triple H and just like I said in the review, um, these are on the same exact body mold which is kind of dumb because EC3 is actually only 6'2 and Triple H is 6'4 yet they use the same exact body mold and one thing that I wanted to do with this figure but uh, one thing that sucks is they're not the same skin tone. They use the Ziggler skin tone for EC3 which they should have. I just wish that Triple H was that same skin tone because I want to switch out the legs. They're both on ball joints and you guys can see here here that he has white tape, right? So if you switch out these legs, instead of having black tape, he would have white tape. And then I was going to switch on these white elite boots, and then you would get the look that you do on the screen right now from NXT when he used to rock the same exact yellow attire that we're getting right here, except he had white tape on and white boots. So I think it would have fit perfectly. I may try it out anyways, but their skin tones don't match. I may just see what it looks like. It may not be that big of a difference, and you know, it, it doesn't really matter. It'll just kind of give us a different look than the rest of our EC3s that I see around the community. So I may try that fix up. Uh, I may not. You know what? We're, we're probably going to do it. So we'll, we'll see what that looks like. But we're going to have a white boots EC3 and that's what we're going for there. Switch out those legs. Switch out the boots. Should be a relatively easy swap. Um, we're getting more and more difficult here as we go though. We had the easy Seth Rollins acetone. We had the easy leg swap and boot swap for EC3. But now we're getting into a little bit more complicated stuff here going further. Uh, I guess we can get into Ziggler. So for Ziggler, I have two different Elite Series 70s. I did conduct a trade for the Chase variant, which I'm really, really excited about. I cannot wait for that figure to come in. I am still looking for one more, though, so if you guys have the Elite Series 70 Dolph Ziggler variant, you know, the pink tights, I really want to do another fix-up with that one. So if you guys have that figure, I really want it. I want two of each so that I can show you guys what I'm going to be doing with it. But anyways, on the left, we have this one, and this one I'm going to keep in the white. I'm going to keep it just like it is, except we're going to switch on some smaller arms, so we're going to give him the smaller arms to make it more accurate to Ziggler and then we're going to paint his boots because they left off the black outsole so I'm going to take my black paint and we're going to paint the outsoles of his boots black to give him the more accurate boots they're going to look like they do on all of his other elites and that is how the fig or that's how the boots actually look in real life. So that's what we're going to be doing with Ziggler there. So White Ziggler will be done. He'll have the smaller arms. He'll have the more accurate boots and it will look perfect. So that is it for Ziggler. But for this Ziggler, we're going to switch out these other arms, which are smaller, which are more accurate, except it has black tape. So he's going to have the more heelish look, kind of what he's wearing on television right now with the black tape and the black boots. And we're going to switch out his boots with the Elite 39 Ziggler boots to give him the all black look. So then we'll kind of have two different looking Zigglers. We'll have an all black Ziggler and we'll have the uh, white tape and white boots Ziggler that we 
we got with Elite Series 70 regular just fixed up. So that is what I'm going with there. I think that'll be a really nice fix up. Really excited about that one. I cannot wait to see what that looks like. Um, so there is that fix up that we're going to be doing. And then moving into our final two things we're going to do. We have Johnny Wrestling right here. Johnny Gargano, guys. And you guys know how they did us. They did us with that terrible lower leg mold thing, right? They gave us that terror. They didn't give us any kick pads. They gave us the short kick pads with that terrible leg mold where it's just regular boot mold lower legs. It's just terrible atrociousness. What we're going to do is we're going to switch out the lower legs of this Johnny Gargano with this Miz figure. So we're going to have the black uh, tips right here. The knee pads will cover the little skin tone here. So we're going to put these over here. And not only that, we're going to pop the feet off of these Johnny Gargano boots right here. And we're going to add the kick pads from an extra network spotlight Finn Balor that I had. And so the feet of the Johnny Gargano will go on the kick pads of this Finn Balor. All the colors match. They're a perfect match there. And the lower legs will be black. And that will fix up our Johnny Gargano. And it will look 100 times better. And we're also probably going to add the... The, uh, emoji to the pants. So we're going to add the emoji to the pants in the white and black and we're going to switch out those lower legs and fix the kick pads. So that will be another switch that we're doing and we're still not even done guys. We still have a little bit more to do here which is absolutely nuts but the final thing that we're going to be doing on this episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery is we're going to be taking the hat of this NXT Jack the Ripper takeover Finn Balor. We're going to be painting it brown so that it is more accurate to the actual hat that he wore on the night of. This may be a little bit too light. I may have to get a different color brown, but for now, we may just rock this. And then, uh, we're going to take the face of this Finn Balor. If you guys see here, uh, you guys watch my review, you know that I really didn't care for this head sculpt, but uh, I'm going to paint it up more accurately. I'm going to give it a better looking job. It's going to look like it did in real life. We're going to add more red. We're going to add some white accents, and we're going to make this look a lot better than the uh, figure that they gave us. So, we have a ton of work here to do. We have, like, a ton of just, Jesus Christ, this episode's going to be long and it's not going to be fun to film, but I think it'll be ultimately worth it when we're at the end, so we're going to paint up the face of the Finn Balor, paint up the hat, and we're going to do all of the other things we're going to do on this episode. Also, one thing that we're not going to do in the video, but I am going to do, I'm going to paint the outsoles of the shoes because I always do that to my Finn Balors uh, just to make it more accurate, give it more details, and that will be it for our Finn Balor. So mercifully, we are done with all of the things we're going to do on this episode, but now we just have to get into it and actually perform our switches, fix-ups, paints, all that bull crap. <sighs> So uh, I guess let's go ahead and dive right into our first project here on this episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery. All right, guys, so our first order of business is going to be acetoning off this terrible shield logo right here because there's no use for it. He didn't have it on his gear at the time, first of all. Secondly, uh, the shield's no more, and I really don't care about it. I'm going to take this vest and put it on a Seth Rollins figure or something, maybe customize it. I don't know, but our first order of business here today on figure surgery is going to be taking this 100% pure acetone, pure acetone, 100%, not 60%, not 50%, not 5%, not, you know, making your own grandpa's coffee percent. You want you want 100% acetone here. We're going to take this out of the bottle. We're going to fill up the top like I always do. If you are under the age of 18, I would recommend getting, a, you know, help from an adult. We got maximum strength here, you know, Ryback style. We got Batista in the house. We don't want Trash Corbin in the weight room here. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to take this, and this is exactly how I do it, and you know what? I would recommend wearing a breathing mask, but since we're not going to be overly exposed to it. I'm just going to take a little bit, fill up the cap here. We're going to fill up the cap, just slowly but surely fill up the cap. You may spill a little bit. That's okay. It's not okay. If you spill it on your skin, it will burn you to death and you will die. All right, so getting back to business, we're going to take the cap, we're going to sit it here, and now we have our Q-tip, so we're going to take the Q-tip, and uh, it's time to acetone this logo off of this, off of, off of this freaking vest, man. And there we go. That literally took, what, five seconds? I mean, my God, I don't even think I'd have to time-lapse that, guys. That literally took five seconds. The logo was gone, and it has ceased to exist, and it's gone forever. And we are done with Seth Rollins, so we'll take a look at that vest and everything once we're done. Uh, I don't even remember. What was the next order of business? Was it EC3? I guess we can move on to EC3. It only took one Q-tip, guys. Would you look at that? Literally, just one Q-tip. 
and we are good to go. So now what I usually do is I take my uh, my top full of acetone right here and I line it up with the opening and I just pour it right in there and I probably missed a little bit, but you know what? We're not perfect. Psych, MDT is always perfect. But anyways, now that we've done that, guys, let's move on to EC3 and uh, continue on with this epic episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery. All right, guys, what we're going to do next is we're just going to take our Triple H, lay it on the ground like so, and then we're going to take our EC3 and do the same thing. They're both on ball joints, so it should be relative. <laughs> Sorry, I had to see that. Uh, what we're going to do is do it. Oh, my God. Stay, you freaking idiot. What we're going to do is sit him just like this, and we're going to take the boots and kind of throw them in here. That way, maybe we can do it all at once. I doubt it. I highly doubt we'll be able to do it because it's not going to heat up the black boots. But you know what? F it all. We're going to get in this position right here. We're going to get the trusty white hair dryer. And uh, you guys will notice that it got a little darker. That is because the one of the lamps got unplugged. Now two of the lamps are unplugged. Now one of the lamps is unplugged. And uh, I'm going to plug in the hair dryer here. And then we're going to heat up the trusty white hair dryer. Heat all this bulk wrap up. Hopefully they don't fly across the arena. That pisses me off when that happens. But uh, we'll only know if we go ahead and hit it. And then we're going to switch their legs and then switch their boots to give us that white boot look. And the skin tones, again, are off. They're not perfect. But we'll have to just see how it goes and then... Uh, uh, just see how it goes and then we'll uh, we'll we'll go from there All right, guys, I highly doubt that we'll be able to get the boots off, but you know what? We'll go ahead and see. Uh, we'll pop this leg off, and we'll pop this leg off if it'll let us. Come on, don't don't snap, though. If it snaps, then I'm going to snap my own neck. That's what I think. All right, so we got those legs off. Now we're going to switch them over. We do have to get the... Uh, we do have to get the... What's it called? We got to get the, the boots off as well because... Ugh, there we go. Now we're going to pop this over here onto the EC3 figure. Jesus, don't cool off. Don't cool off. Oh, I don't want to snap it, though. That's going to piss me off, man. I swear to Jesus. Okay, we got that. Uh, is this boot good enough? No. All right, we're going to have to switch the boots on a different occasion uh, on the second go-around. But if we can just get this, my God in heaven, why is it being such a douchebag? All right, that's not even... Uh, I, God! Alright, what we're gonna do now is, I really hate this lighting, man. It should be way brighter, but I don't have enough plugs, man. Hang on just a second. Alright, now let's take this hairdryer out, plug in this extension cord piece that has multiple plugs. Plug in the hair dryer into that, and then plug the lights into that. Now we have light. God said, let there be light, and there was light, so we have light now. We have the hair dryer plugged in. Now we can see things, and now it's a good day, and we're only adding more time to the surgery video. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put the boot in front of the hair dryer. We're going to take this leg, put it in front of the hair dryer. Take this leg, put it in front of the hair dryer because you got to remember we got to get these yellow knee pads off. Give you guys a better angle there. Then we're going to uh, plop this Triple H right here so that it heats up that ball joint there. Then we're going to put the white boots down in here as well. And we're going to heat all of this up and it better work or I'm going to have to slit some throats. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's try this this time. We're going to pop Triple H's leg off there. Go ahead and pop it over here onto EC3's ball joint. So we'll pop this leg over here, which is the right leg. Got that. Now uh, try to switch out the boots. Got the one black boot. Got the other black boot. Go over to the EC3 leg. Pop that boot off. Slide off this leg. What is this? Is this the left leg, right leg? I think this is the right leg. Yes, this is the right leg. So slide off that knee pad. Go ahead and slide off the Triple H knee pad. And what's going to suck is if this skin tone is really bad off, then uh, I'll have to switch it later. I'm not going to switch it, you know, today. So I guess, um, I, I mean, extra figure surgery isn't always about loving the surgery that we do, you know, like sometimes they don't work out, but I like it to, you know, maybe you guys will love it and then you can switch it as well. Just dropped a white boot on the ground, so now I think we all lose. It's all over now. I can't get these dumbass massive AF knee pads onto this figure. So we're just going to slide this off. Go ahead, go here, pop this other yellow knee pad off. I hate these big knee pads, man. I really wish that we had smaller ones, but somebody said to cut it, but when you cut it, it doesn't line up right, and it's kind of awful, but uh, maybe we can go ahead and nail it. I don't know. We'll see. 
if we get this on here, uh, just slide it on up. Just slide it. Maybe it'll create an optical illusion with the white tape and make it look darker than it actually is. You guys know, like, if you, if you wear bright shoes, it makes your legs look darker. I don't know, maybe that'll be a thing, but popping on the white boots, and EC3 is freaking completed. I can't even believe that we actually got that. So now EC3 is completely done. I know you guys didn't see it, but that's the whole point of it. You guys saw what we did. We switched out the knee pads and the stuff, so now you guys will see what that looks like at the end, and hopefully it doesn't look, you know, terrible, but uh, now Triple H is completely... Should we go ahead and just... Go ahead and just pop this on here? Probably not even freaking... freaking hot enough. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna work. Oh, we did. Did we get it? Got that on there. F it all. All right, guys, well, the main point is, is that EC3 is completed. You know, we got the white boots on there. We got the white tape on there, and hopefully that thing will look good at the end. I'll get your guys' personal opinion at the end when we review everything we've done here today. But uh, we're moving on to Dolph Ziggler, guys. we got to switch out the arms. You guys know we're getting on the smaller arms with black wrist tape and the smaller arms with white wrist tape. And once we've done that, we're going to go over to the boots of one Ziggler, put the black boots on that Ziggler, and then paint the other boots of the Ziggler in the black. So we'll have to see how this goes, but uh, let's go ahead and hit this white hair dryer. Alright guys, that should be good enough. What we're going to do is take one of the ziggles and pop its arm off just like so. Just like that. And then take the right arm of the smaller arm. Pop it onto here. Just like so. Go over to the other arm. Pop that off. Uh, one thing that will happen is that we will lose the ability to switch on and off arms, but that really doesn't bother me that much. So there's the one Ziggler. Uh, the reason that it doesn't bother me that much is because, first of all, uh, the, the, the white arms that I just switched on actually have the, uh, the mic holding hands, so that's good. There is a black fist over here, but I think I actually have a black tape open hand that I could switch on. But anyways, that is it for the arms, guys. We have both Ziggler arms switched on now, and now all we have to do is switch out the boots, which should not be a difficult thing at all. So what we're going to do is uh, grab all these extra arms, move them out of the way, and uh, we're going to grab, because we don't have to switch out the others, just one of the sets because we're putting on the black boots. So we have the smaller armed black right here, so we got to heat up these boots, and I got to find the black boots that we're switching and add them to the hairdryer you know, uh, area so that it can heat those up as well. And uh, just like that, and we shouldn't have to heat it up that long, you know, simple boot swaps or simple boot swaps. So let's go ahead and hit it and then we'll switch those out and then we will get to painting our other white boots. All right, that should be good enough, guys. All we have to do is switch out the white boots, uh, just like that. There's the one boot, and then finding the black boot that we got to switch on here, the Elite 39 boots. You know, we've seen him rock this. Uh, was it at Super Showdown that he rocked the all-black attire? Maybe it's multiple occasions he's rocked the all-black attire, but there it is. That is done. We'll take a closer look at that Ziggler at the end of the video, and uh, he's going to go over here with EC3 and Seth Rollins, but now what we have to do is we have to take our leftover Ziggler, the regular Elite 70 with the smaller arms. You can kind of see what that looks like already. Much, much better. Just, my God, the smaller arms look way better. But now what we have to do is take our Apple Barrel black paint right here, which has been in the way of the hairdryer the whole time, and it probably dried it all out, and I'll have to go buy some more. I'm just kidding, but seriously, though, we're going to take this black paint, and we're going to paint the outsoles of the boots here so that we can make this way more accurate and actually make it look like the boots that he wears because uh, Mattel decided not to give us black outsoles, so we're going to add it ourselves. So what we're going to do is unscrew the cap here and then uh, just do a zoom in time lapse shot and we're going to paint up these outsoles.
All right, guys, Dolph Ziggler is completely done. You guys saw that we added that black outsoles to the boots, and I think it looks really, really good. We got it mod podged and sealed all up. And now that we are finally done with Dolph Ziggler's boots and the other black Dolph Ziggler, it is time to move on to Johnny Football or Johnny Wrestling or Johnny Gargano, whatever the hell you want to say. All right, guys, our next order of business on action figure surgery today will be to switch out these lower legs of Johnny Gargano, right? I mean, Mattel totally screwed us up here with these weird AF legs. What we're going to do is switch out the lower legs with these Miz lower legs, and then we're going to pop the kick pads off of this Finn Balor and then pop the feet off of the Johnny Gargano, add the feet to the Finn Balor, pop the kick pad into the Miz kick pads, into the Miz lower legs, I should say, into the gun Johnny Gargano, and it should work out perfectly. So what we're going to do is lay this hoe down, heat it up like so, heat up this as well, and hopefully we can get all of this heated up at the same time and we won't run into any bull crap. You guys know how we do. Um, if you guys have been here for action figure surgery all the daggum time, then you know that uh, sometimes we run into some snags and uh, that's not what we want to do, but you know, sometimes we can't help it. Sometimes the heat doesn't work. Sometimes it's just a bunch of BS crappity doo-doo head, but uh, we're just going to see how this goes. We're going to heat up all this at once. We got the trusty white hair dryer. We're about to hit it and we're going to see how it goes. Oh, I hate that trash. That trash just pisses me right off. Like, jeez, bruh. Like, just do right. Just do right for once. All right, guys, let's see how this goes. I'm actually kind of scared here, but uh, let's go ahead and just pop off the feet of the Finn Balor first. There we go. Um, and then we're going to pop off the kick pad there. That's the left kick pad. And then we have the right kick pad. Okay, now Finn Balor's pretty much done. We ain't got to worry about that. Um, the next thing we have to do is pop off the feet of Gargano. There's the left one. I'm going to try to keep those together. That way um, we have it all together. There's the right one, so we'll put the right with the right. And then the next order of business is popping these lower legs off which were much uh was was kind of you know kind of kind of harder than i expected but there we go got that and the other one wasn't but uh let's go ahead and get that out now we're going to take these pegs over here and we're going to connect them through the knee hole here and then the same thing on this side plugging the peg through the hole now we take the is this the left or the right it's the left now hopefully this isn't going to be a problem, but go ahead and stick this on here. It's actually really, really hot, so I wouldn't expect it to give me any trouble, but you know, it's uh, it's Mattel figure, and this is action figure surgery, so I wouldn't even be shocked if it gave me freaking problems. Golly, I could have sworn that was going on, but anyways, let's go over to the right side first, I guess, and we'll pop that there. And just trying to get this Jesus Christ. Come on, Brad. Golly, it's crazy because it's super duper hot. It's just not going on. Ah! Fuck you. Damn. That shit's hot as fuck. Fuck you. Damn. Mmm. Alright, I finally freaking got that. My God in heaven, that took forever. But I finally got it. Now all we have to do is plug on these knee pads. And we put the knee pads on here. And then the next order of business will be to put those freaking kick pads on these lower legs. And it's actually going to be a whore to do. Because attaching those shoes back to those kick pads is actually kind of a difficult process. But hopefully we'll be able to do it. But there's Johnny Gargano. That looks a hundred times better already. We haven't even added the kick pads but Johnny Gargano is looking nice. Johnny Football, Johnny Wrestling, whatever the hell you want to call him. Um, hit me down in the comment section below if any of you know who Johnny Football is. I'll be shocked if you guys know who that is. Maybe not, though. I don't know. So for this next order of business, guys, I think what I'm going to do is going to use the trusty trash can. I'm just going to throw these hoes up in here. Maybe that... I don't know if that's going to work. Uh, this is annoying. I'm just going to throw these up in here. Put those down in there. Put those down in there. And just heat this up. I doubt this works, but we'll find out. I'm going to put Finn Balor right here to try and hold that in place. All right, guys, hopefully this will work. You know, uh, no promises here, though, but you got to make sure you get the right... Okay, this is the right uh, the right kick pad, and I'm going to go ahead and try to attach this again. Um, this is actually a difficult process to do, and I may not even be able to do it on camera, to be honest with you, but getting this into the hole, I've never really found an effective way of doing this. I kind of just get it really hot and then try to push it on there. Um, I don't know why it's so difficult, but it does, I mean, to be honest with you and to be fair, it does lock it in place. Like, once you get this on here, 
it's very hard to come off until you, you know, if it's really heated up, it'll come off easily. But uh, besides that, I mean, it, it is kind of difficult to get off. But I'm just going to go ahead and attach the kick pads first, and then we'll come back and do the, uh, the feet. And I'll do that off camera. That way, because uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. To be honest with you, I think it's going to be too difficult. Hopefully, yeah, I just don't see this happening. Jesus Christ. Or did I get that one? I think I actually got that one. Did I get that one? I think I got that one. Nice. Uh, I, I doubt I get this one, though. The left foot, doubt I get it. I wish I had a better setup so you guys could see everything better, like overhead or something. I feel like, uh, I don't know, 31 episodes in, you think we'd have a better setup for now, but I don't know. All right, guys, we did get it completed. Now what we have to do is add that damn emoji right here, and I'm going to do my best to get that on camera while painting that on there, but again, no promises. You guys know how it is when trying to paint those things on there, but uh, let's go ahead and see if we can do it. All right, guys, here's the final result with the emoji on the trunks. You can kind of see it there. That is the same emoji that is going here on the trunks, and I tried my best to get it on camera, but it was really, really difficult, you know, trying to get those details in there, and I'd rather the figure turn out better than, you know, trying to get it on camera, but uh, I did the best I could, and it just didn't turn out right, so I just went ahead and filmed the end of it here. I used my Citadel Air Paint. That's what I always use um, for, uh, you know, details and things of that nature, and then I come back with a toothpick, and I actually, uh, if I go too much, I'll chip away and get the details in with a toothpick. So that is what I did there. And Johnny Gargano is complete. We'll take a closer look at him when, uh, you know, we're done with the video. But we have one more thing here to do on WWE Action Figure Surgery. I mean, we have packed the thing in today, guys. We have done so much here today. It's kind of absurd. But uh, the next thing we're going to do is this Finn Balor face, I guess. We're going to work on this. And then we're also going to do his hat. And then uh, we will be done with Action Figure Surgery. So I guess just key the time lapse. And we will see you guys at the end to take a full look at everything we've done here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery.
All right, guys, we are finally here at the end of Action Figure Surgery, episode number 31. All of our products right here in front of us, I am enjoying all of them, to be honest with you. I'm pretty excited about all of them. The only thing I'm not excited about is EC3, which we will get into. But let's go ahead and start things off, guys. Starting off with Seth freaking Rollins up first. You guys can see that it turned out perfectly. I think the acetone worked perfectly. It knocked off that logo. I mean, the vest is perfect now. I may put it on a Seth Rollins Elite. You know, I think the top talents would look really, really solid. Maybe even the Elite 64, maybe you could add some red lines or yellow lines or even orange lines maybe a combination of the three maybe an sr logo up here i don't know i'm just sort of playing spitballing ideas off of you but uh, i think that this vest on a top talent seth rollins would be really really sweet but there is seth rollins i think he turned out exactly like i thought it would i think that was a pretty well executed day there up next we have ec3 guys and this is what i'm talking about and you guys can see on your screen sort of the look we were going for as far as you know the 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 white boots the white tape on there and I don't know if you guys can see I mean you really can't tell that much that the legs are a different shade you know he is the color of Dolph Ziggler and the thighs are the color of Triple H which is the same color as Seth Rollins I do believe and HBK and guys of that nature I believe that's the case but um, I think it turned out all right it's not perfect by any means but it is a different look than everybody else's EC3 so I guess that's a you know that's a bonus if you're if you're trying to you know go for a different look and uh, it's not terrible I kind of like it you know it's not my favorite thing by far. I don't know if I'll switch it back. I'd love to know down in the comment section below. Do you like the white boots better or the black boots? Just uh, comment down below and we'll uh, we'll just see how that fares. Up next we have my boy Dolph Ziggler. We have two different Dolph Zigglers and I am actually really, really excited with the way both of these guys turned out. The only thing I don't like is the Intercontinental Championship on his crotch because it kind of makes this figure um, unusable, sort of. But the all black looks really fresh. I really like the way that came out. I am digging this Dolph Ziggler head scan. I don't really care what people say about it being pudgy i like it a lot i think it looks good i love the hair mold and the you know the dirty blonde hair that's going on uh the black tape looks fantastic with the elite 39 boots tied in it's just a really good figure as far as you know the blacked out look goes and i like it a lot and then of course the smaller arms just make it another it takes it another step and then adding the black outsoles to the white boots really stands out i'm also uh, i have a pink ziggler like i said a chase variant ziggler on the way and i'm going to make a uh, I'm, I'm gonna order two of them right now i'm in the in the process of getting a trade completed. Once that trade's completed, I'm going to switch on some smaller white arms onto that one, uh, paint the outsoles again, and then get another pink Ziggler and do this same fix-up where we put black boots and black tape. So I'll have four different Zigglers of the Elite 70 uh, and sort of have like a white version and a black version. I think that'll look great, but I'm really excited with the way Ziggler came out. Both of them turned out perfectly. Next up, guys, we have Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Football, Johnny, 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 Johnny Test, Johnny Quest, Johnny Bravo. All right, here we go. So what we did is again I hate that I could not get the process of painting this uh, emoji on there but you can see there there it is in the flesh it looks just like the logo that was on his tights and it looks great I'm really excited with the way that came out I did seal it on there there's no you know chipping it's not going to come off it looks perfect and I hate that Mattel didn't give it to us but luckily I'm, I'm blessed enough to have the ability to paint it on there and not have to use a decal or anything next up going down into the lower legs guys we did switch out those lower legs with Miz and then we switched out those network spotlight Finn Balor kick pads added the Johnny Gargano feet, and it looks great. I think the blue ties in perfectly. It's a perfect looking, you know, it's, it, it doesn't, you know, flow perfectly, perfectly, but it, I mean, for the most part, it gets the job done. You know what I'm saying? I think it gets the job done, and nobody's complaining. From far away, you can't even tell, and I'm really happy with it. I think Johnny Bravo, Johnny Quest football test, football, football, football wrestling really turned out nice. So Johnny football is complete, and then the last thing that we did, guys, was Finjamin Balor, the NXT Jack the Ripper, and uh, maybe I can bring up, you know, what it's supposed to look like up next to this and uh, sort of compare. And I think we completed it. I think we did it a justice. It looks much better than it did by far. Let me actually grab my other Finn Balor over here and compare the two so you guys can kind of see the difference that we did here. And uh, this is the difference. You got the one that I painted on the left and the Mattel factory on the right. And I think mine looks a lot more accurate to the Finn Balor NXT Jack the Ripper takeover farts in a bag London face scan that they got going on. And I like it. I think it turned out pretty good. It turned out, you know, closer to what I wanted. And the red's a lot better it's a lot brighter and more saturated so that works for me and not only did we do that guys but we also painted up his hat which i'm going to show you right now 
So let me get a little zoom in action. And we did paint the hat up and it may be a bit light. It's actually darker in person, but uh, we did get the hat correct as well. And there you go. So now he's looking a lot better. I may have to darken it up a little bit. It's coming off way more brighter on camera than it actually is. But, uh, you know, that's expected. But that is it, guys. We did it. We completed this episode of Action Figure Surgery. And I haven't, you know, plugged this thing into the editing software yet. But uh, I, I would bet that this, this episode is going to be almost 30 minutes long. If not 30 minutes long, but we'll have to see. I hope you guys did enjoy. You know, we did a ton of stuff today. This is definitely the most action-packed episode of Action Figure Surgery to date. But it was a very fun episode. And uh, for, for today, while you're watching this, I'm grinding hard as hell on Vindication. So I can get it up to you guys as soon as possible before you track me down and kill my entire family. But it's going to be a really exciting episode of Vindication. I think you guys are going to really get a kick out of it. You know, we're on the way to Hell's Gate. We're going to get there. We're going to get to MDT Live. We're going to get to the other you get go home shows. We're going to get there. But uh, you just bear with me. It's going to be worth it. You know, two Elimination Chamber matches coming soon. We're going to we're gonna knock it out. It's going to be great. Just got to get there. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.